right so let's do this Euler's formula and trigonometric identities today so Euler's formula states that e to the power of i x is equals to cos x plus i sine x where x is any real number so x is real right so it's a real number and we will prove today trigonometric identities with this Euler's formula all right so here let's start with if we have e to the power of i x is equals to cos x plus i sine x if we find e to the power of minus i x that will give us cos of minus x plus i sine minus x right now if we go back and think about the even and odd functions we know that cos is an even function right even function means that cos minus x is equals to cos of x right whereas sine is an odd function so it's an odd function and that means that sine of minus x is equals to minus of sine x right so in case we substitute these values in we will get e to the power of minus x is equals to cos x minus i sine x right so now we have two equations here our first equation is e i x e to the power of i x and the second one we have is e minus e to the power of minus i x right so our first bit is adding equation one and two that will give us e to the power of i x plus e to the power of minus i x is equals to cos x plus i sine x plus cos x minus i sine x right i sine x minus i sine x is zero so we end up with two cos x right so now if we divide both sides so this is e i x plus e minus i x if we divide both sides by two we will end up with cos x is equals to e power of i x plus e power of minus i x over 2 right so that is our first proof so that is proved now if we subtract so let's subtract equation 1 and 2 so now if we subtract that we have e to the power of i x minus e to the power of minus i x and that will give us so that is now going to give us cos x plus i sine x minus of cos x and minus minus becomes plus i sine so cos and cos cancel we will end up with 2i sine x and which is e i x minus e minus i x now again dividing by 2 will give us e to the power i x minus e to the power of minus i x over 2 is equals to i sine x and if we move that i here as well so we will end up with only sine x which we want right and that is our second proof so that's proof as well and these are the two trig identities that we will use quite a bit in our scholarship exam so if you go back and look at the past papers in 2018 in recently 2022 we have got quite a few questions like in past few years we have got quite a few questions on this identity so i hope this helps have a good day